Hi, Alex here and in today's video I'm going to fix this big multifunction printer Xerox Work Center 7525. The same refers for other models in this line like 75, 35, 75, 45 and so on. Okay, so as you can see the machine is trying to start and after a few attempts the system starts to load and then freezes. I strongly suspect that the problem in corrupted firmware or the hard drive is slowly dying. Something terrible has happened to the system board. I don't know who is here before me, but the hard drive holder is bent and there are some signs of mechanical damage on the motherboard. Okay, I've just replaced a hard drive. It's a regular 2.5 inch hard drive, which you can find almost in any laptop. Next we have to download firmware and prepare USB drive. I'd recommend to use some old 1 gig or 4 USB flash drive. Not sure if something fancy like USB 364 GB will work in this system. I just googled firmware for Xerox 7525 and here's the first official link. In this archive you'll find firmware and useless installation guide. Now format your USB drive to FAT32 file system. NTFS is not supported on this device. After that create a new folder named Outboot. All file names in our process is case sensitive. Copy firmware file to output folder. Finally, create any file you want named forced underscore upgrade without extension or just rename it. By default, you can't see file extensions, but it's easy to turn it on. If your Windows 8 or 10 user, go to View tab and check file name extension. For Windows 7, go to Control Panel, Folder Options. View tab, uncheck this option and click OK. The installation process will take about 40 minutes. After installation it will ask you to remove the flash drive and press the zero button. And that's pretty much it. Good luck! Remove the flash drive and press the zero button. 